Hi, I'm Mary Kate Bungert, Director of Mission at All Saints Church in Lakeville. And just like you, I'm trying to figure out how to address stewardship and discipleship in the middle of a global pandemic. Early on, Father Wilson said we weren't going to focus on what wasn't going to happen. We weren't going to focus on the fact that our gala was canceled or that Sunday giving was going to go down. He wanted us to focus on the critical mission, what leading people to Christ through liturgy, learning, sacraments, and service, and that everything that we were doing was going to be centered on that and directed towards helping people still have that experience, even if they weren't in church. And so we did. And there are lots of things that we did that everybody else is doing or trying to figure out how to do from the use of social media to live streaming liturgies. But I think that there are some things that we did in that focus that I think were really helpful to us. One was that we decided that it wasn't just enough to try and find ways to bring people up to All Saints. We're on the top of a hill, so we always talk about up the hill and off the hill. It wasn't enough to try and figure out ways where people could still be on the hill. We did do a fair amount of that and have continued to, but also figure out how we can go down off the hill and make a difference in people's lives. So this week, a group of staff are getting together and they are creating spiritual bouquets bags with small gifts and cards that we will be delivered to the homes of those young people who should have received first Eucharist and confirmation. Those sacraments have been postponed to, we don't know yet, <laughs> but we do know that while we wait, we want them to know that we're praying for them, that we care about them, and that we can't wait for the day that we will all be gathered together again and they will be able to celebrate those sacraments. And we want that to be a personal touch. So staff will be going and delivering those to the homes. That's not just 25 or 30 homes either. It's 300. <laughs> so, but we can't wait to get out there and do that. The second is that this has been an opportunity for us to strengthen our community partnerships. We have strong connections with, in Lakeville, with, in Dakota County, with organizations that serve others, but this became a place where we could really make a difference and where we could help. We have been collecting items that these organizations need, from bleach for one of our care centers to diapers and wipes for pregnancy choices. We've also been trying to find ways for our parishioners to help reach out and touch the lives of hundreds and hundreds of seniors who live in resident facilities in Lakeville where they really cannot travel out and about freely or see their families. And so we have been making cards and finding ways to help the staff at those at those residences um, be able to touch those those people's lives, whether it's just providing a snack for an extra happy hour <laughs> or whether it's, like I said, cards being made. This week, Father Gifford will be starting to go to the residences. Um, not inside, they won't let him inside, but because he's got a beautiful voice and we can send a musician or two with, he will be able to lead them in singing some tried and true old hymns in the middle of their courtyard. So we're looking forward to that as well. All of this is just a beginning of reminding people what it means to be centered on Christ and what it means to make him known and loved. That's been our focus. And we hope that this pandemic ends soon, that people find healing, and that we'll once again be in our churches. But I do think that all saints won't ever be quite the same. Thanks.